tell you what, give yourselves a round of applause. This has been an incredible night for the people of Kentucky. It really has. I, I don't even know where to start in some measure. It was a year and a couple days ago that we stood in this same room, uh, shocked a lot of people that night, but it pales by comparison in some measure to the powerful message that you all and so many others, including those that are watching tonight, sent to the world. The voters of Kentucky have been heard, and they want a new direction for the Commonwealth of Kentucky. I will simply say this. It is humbling to be your governor. I am grateful for this opportunity. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. Many of you have heard me cite a quote that I will say now, and that was by Winston Churchill. And Winston Churchill, when he was often referred to as the Lion of England, said, I'm not the lion. He said, the people of England are the lion. He said, but history has called upon me to deliver the roar. And indeed, tonight, the roar has been delivered by the voters of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And I got to tell you, I, I could, I'm, I'm listening to a little bell over here, and, and if I wanted to be a snarky person, I would probably say something like, ding dong, the, but I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to, that would be petty. That would be petty and small. Uh, but all I can say is it's about time. Truly, it's about time. It's about time. And to the people of the 95th District and of every other district who turned out and asked for your voices to be heard for the first time in a long time, we hear your voice. The voice is going to be represented in the People's House for the first time in a long time, 95 years. We have work to do. That work is going to be done as part of the new majority. And it gives me, it gives me great pleasure to introduce a man to you who is going to be as responsible as anybody for ushering in this new day. A man who will need to first be elected by his peers, but a man that at the risk of getting ahead of myself, I can safely feel confident in predicting is likely to be the next Speaker of the House in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, my friend Jeff Hoover!